Look here, my friend. You just let us know where the rebel base is, and we'll let you go away. Eh? I'll never tell you. You're wasting your time, Buckethead. Okay, my friend. I respect your loyalty. I'll see what we can do for you. Oh, and feel free to have one of the complimentary donuts, eh? Hey, Lonnie. Hey, did you get him to crack? Oh, no, Larry. He didn't really say much. Oh, get out of my way. I'll handle this. Hey. How's it going there, man? Look, I don't care what you do. I'm not telling you anything. All right, just a little bit more, and... Ah, there you go. That should do it. All right, and uh, you have a good one. Oh, hey, how you doing there, eh? Oh, hey, uh, what's up, man? Are you new around here? My name's Larry. Oh, yeah, I just transferred here last week. I'm from Ontario. The name's Lonnie. I'm sorry, that was Lou... Looney? No, no, it's Lonnie. Oh, okay. Well, um, Lonnie, welcome to Hoth. Hopefully you can get used to the cold. I'm pretty used to it. I don't come down here that often, but every once in a while I'll get transferred down here for a couple weeks. Oh, yeah, this is nothing for me, eh? Back home, I deal with much colder weather than this. Wait, like, more colder than Hoth? I mean, it gets pretty cold here. So, like, how cold does it get for you back home? Well, you ever seen that movie Day After Tomorrow? It's just like that. Whoa, seriously? Man, then this must be nothing for you, I guess. But I'll just let you know, too, if it ever does get a little too cold for you, we got some pretty good Death Star coffee here. Oh, that's very nice of you, Larry. But don't worry about that. I bring my own cup of joe myself. Whoa. Wait, you're telling me you don't drink Death Star coffee? No, I prefer my own. I got some right here if you want to try. Tom Hurton's coffee? I don't know. I've always been dedicated to Death Star coffee. Oh, come on, Larry. What harm could it be? Go ahead and give it a sip. <sighs> All right. I'll try it. <sighs> mm. Eh? So what do you think? It's pretty good, eh? Huh? Oh, well. Eh... No comment. Here, you can take it back. Okay, no problem. It's enough for everyone. Yeah, sure, whatever. Take your Tom Who's or What's or coffee and just you can just keep that to yourself from now on. But anyway, Lonnie, I'm probably going to get going. Welcome to Hoth, and uh, I got some other stuff i got to get done, and uh, probably get some food here soon because I'm starving. Oh, okay, Larry. I'll just talk to you later. And by the way, too, if you are feeling a little hungry, I brought some donuts, eh? You did what? What? Oh yeah, when I was getting my coffee earlier, that same place makes donuts. So I went ahead and got a box and brought it over. You did what? Whoa, Larry, what's the problem, eh? I just thought it would be nice to bring over a box of donuts. You just thought, you, you just, you just thought you'd be nice and pick up a box of donuts? Listen, I was fine with your little foreign coffee, but donuts? That's crossing the line. I bring the donuts. I'm Larry the Donut Guy. I'm the one that brings donuts into the office. You have no right to be all hunky-dory and just casually bringing in your donuts with your stupid Tim Horticulture coffee. I'm going to go ahead and let this slide one time because you're the new guy here. But I don't ever want to see you bringing in donuts into this base again. Whoa, whoa, okay, Larry. I'm sorry. I didn't know that was your thing. I won't bring any more donuts over to this base, I promise you. Okay, cool. Thank you so much, Lonnie. I, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to overreact like that, it's just, you know, donuts have always been my thing, you know? Whoa. Where'd that come from? Oh, you might be catching a Canadian accent there, eh? What? No. I mean, I mean, no. Oh, it's okay there, Larry. Sometimes it does catch on. But Larry, let me tell you one thing. You better watch out, because I'm coming for your donut holes. Your day of bringing donuts is over. And if you don't like it, you can kiss my white wampa butt. You know, Lonnie, I think we got off on the wrong foot. Here, let me be nice. Let me show you some of the Hoth hospitality. Why don't you take a quick look down my blaster hole, eh? Dang it! Do you... do you charge extra for those? Oh, hey guys, how you doing, eh? Just wanted to let you know I got today's morning donuts. I'll put them in the break room for you. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you guys later. I can't stand that guy. I said I can't stand that guy! He drives me crazy! He's the donut guy now? Him? Really? How could he actually- Well, actually, you know what? I guess I can- uh, yeah, that, that, uh, that, that, that makes a little sense, I guess. I guess it makes sense that he's the donut guy now. Oh, Larry! That's the third century droid today. Ah, 
Jeez, I'm, I'm really sorry here. You know, I'm really, I'm not trying to do this. I mean, come on, I'm still learning here. Well, we've been doing this for a week. Don't you know you're supposed to get this down in case it's ever needed for you to operate the AT-80? Yes, I understand that I need to have this knowledge just in case it's ever needed. Which, by the way, why are you the one that's training me? Because I already know that we're going to get slammed in the comments because everybody knows you're not an at, -AT operator. Well, Lord Vader thought it would be a good idea for me to train you, and I was given a crash course on how to operate the at, -AT about two weeks ago. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, so wait, you're telling me that you only have one more week's worth of experience than I do at this? And you were only given a crash course? Don't you know that's how everyone's trained here? Why do you think these things go so slow? Nobody has enough experience able to make these things go faster, eh? Wow, never had any idea about that. In fact, I mean, if we know that's how slow these things go, why are we dropped off miles away from the battlefield? Most of the time, by the time we get there, the battle's over. These things are obviously skyscraper-sized tanks. I think we're more than capable of being dropped off right at the front lines. Not to mention as well, it only takes one wire in order to make this thing fall down, you know? Exactly, right? I mean, these things are more of a burden than they are a support system. Which I was gonna ask you too, are these called AT-ATs or NATs? They're called AT-ATs. We actually just went ahead and just put on the license plate, and that way nobody's asking us anymore. I, you know, that still doesn't really tell us how to pronounce it, you know? Oh no, oh crap, what, what's, the, what's the red light? What, what, what's going on? Well, did you fill her up right before you left? It might mean we're almost out of gas. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, do you feel that? Why does it feel like we're leaning? Wow, this is an all-time low. Pun intended, Larry? No, 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 pun was not intended. Apparently all it takes to knock these things down is a piece of string or just stupidly running out of gas. Well, this definitely sucks more for you because you decide not to get the insurance. Oh, just shut up.